So Ron, Ron is asking here specifically uh, about Lexio. So are the stories presented in Lexio created by AI or are they stored and then presented when certain thresholds are met? Yeah, I, I love I love Lexio. Questions about Lexio and AI, Ron. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, it's all they're all totally generated by an AI. And we, um, if you want to catch up later, I can. I'm happy to go deep um, with you on how that works. But in general, um, there's sort of two modes Lexio is working in. One is for the for the news feed and what we call the notable insights, where every time we pull in data every few hours, Lexio is is doing a bunch of analysis against that data, looking for notable things that have happened and when it finds them uh, writing a story about that and pushing that to people's you know to their phones to their to their desktops wherever they are and those stories are all written by ai um, and as well as you can also uh, you'll see this with cassidy demos that you can just intentionally explore deeper and say i want to track this metric at this time frame and then lexio writes that story again for you right then so there's there's three words i want everybody to keep in mind as i go through this simple personal and proactive i mentioned this earlier um, what we've done with Lexio is we tried to reimagine an analytics experience specific to the business user. So if you think about the problem we're trying to solve, which we've been talking about on this call, there's a place in time where today's BI tools, dashboards work really well. But for the vast majority of an organization, they don't. And so what we wanted to do is not design a better dashboard, but a different experience for those who aren't using dashboards. The key here is this, this is unique to each individual. So the metrics that I pin would be different than the metrics that you pin, Kate, that would be different than the metrics that Nate would pin. And so this is basically me telling Lexio in one way, what do I care about? The other way you tell Lexio what you care about is you follow topics. And this is very similar to what you would do on Apple News. You're following certain things that you're interested in. So over here, there are other topics that you can just follow and set up notifications for. So I want to know about sales performance, customer support, et cetera, et cetera. So again, I'm telling Alexio, these are the things I care about that are important to me that I would like to get more information and more insight on. So once you've done this, this can be set up by the end user or the analyst. Lexio starts telling you things that, we, that the tool thinks that you need to know. And Nate mentioned this, those are notable insights. These are meaningful trends in your business. So what are the things that are happening day in and day out in your data that you may want to take a deeper look at. So leads are up, support tickets are up, pipelines higher than usual, you get the idea. Mm -hmm. Lexio using AI to say, these are the things that we think you need to look at because they may be notable and impactful to your business. And then last, what you see in the newsfeed is just, we sometimes want to know what are we, what's happening day in and day out. So what happened yesterday in perf ad performance? What happened yesterday in leads? Did we book any deals? Did deals change transitions? Did we ship product? Like this is what Lexio is doing down here is you can set this up and say, these are the other things that I'm interested in knowing happened in my data every day. Mm -hmm. So this is a news feed. Now you could go to this page and you can look at it. You can go on your phone and look at it. So there's an app. You can set alerts and notifications to bring it to you. And so what we're working on is when I say bring it to you, today you can get this in your email, a summary. Mm -hmm. Soon you'll be able to get it in Slack, in Teams, as alerts on your phone, in another application. So if you're in Salesforce, we can put it there. And the point here mm -hmm. is we want to bring this to where your users are. If your users are communicating in Slack, we're going to bring the insight to them. If your users are on the go, like a lot of executives, we're going to bring it to them on their phone and so forth and so on. So the idea here is you tell Lexi a little bit about what you want to know, Lexi mm -hmm. back what you need to know. So that is where the majority of people spend their time. But let's say you also want to look a little deeper and I'll go through this in one minute. You can. So this is kind of analogous to what you would do with a dashboard. It just has more context. So what I'm pulling up here is you can go through and look at a deeper story on bookings. You can see how many deals drove it. So this starts to look familiar to other people. You can look at what drove this. We talked about drivers. These are the drivers that drove the business. I can click this and see other drivers. Hmm. I can see how it's trending over time. So this, to Nate's point, is all AI driven. You didn't have to set this up. You didn't have to build this as an analyst. What Lexio does is if you're looking at this story, it then understands what other stories you'll want to look at. So you have this thing called what to read next. 
and it helps you kind of intelligently discover data. So you can go through, you get the idea.